my friends? This is Stu with Wheel of Cool Videos, and sitting beside me, the man, the myth, Mr. 993, Rudy, all the way from Texas, drove all the way to Southern California just to let me drive his car. <laughs> <laughs> just joking. Uh, this Sunday is Luftacool. It's the most badass air-cooled show in the country. Yes. And uh, Rudy is such a die-hard air-cooled lover that he drove or trailered this beautiful yeah, um, turquoise blue, excuse me, blue turquoise 993C4S all the way from oh, Texas, man. And how far was that drive? 24 hours. Non <laughs> well, we stopped for lunch and stuff Jesus. like that. So, so we're going to do two videos with Rudy since he's all the way out here. First one's going to be just talking about the car and all the mods and his collection. Second one's going to be more about Rudy personally and a message that he could give to everybody out there, including me, who's interested in acquiring a collection or having a life similar to his where he's basically got a huge toy box and living the dream, as I would put it. So this car that we're driving in right now, is it, what year is it? It's a 1997 Blue Turquoise C4S. With only 25,000 miles on it. 25,000, when I bought it, it had 21. Wow. And uh, it's got the black interior. And it feels brand new. Now, did it come with the sports seats? It did come with the sports seats. Nice, and you painted them? This one, this one came with them painted already. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Oh, which is, that's one of Rudy's signature touches. I love hardback painted sports seats, or Recaro's, or anything like that. One of Rudy's other signature touches. Seat belts. Seat belts. So we got blue turquoise. <laughs> the girls say orange would be perfect. We did orange seat belts, orange calipers, Ooh. the orange orange S emblem in the back. Nice. Right. I thought it was yellow, and then you pulled up, and I'm like, oh, that's right there, orange. Yeah, orange. And it does pop. It, it's a very complimentary color. Yeah. Yellow was the uh, Riviera Blue Turbo. Yeah. That was okay, that's Riviera. right. That's right. And Rudy's got a lot of cars. And I stalk him on Instagram, so but it's even <laughs> it's hard for me to keep track. <laughs> but so, how many 993s do you have? 18. 18. How many 964s? 10. 10. And then you've recently started getting into the 2002 BMWs, right? Yes, 2002's BMW. That's another story about my BMW <laughs> love. That it, I started with BMWs back in 2000. Okay. So. Um, so how I, many how many of those do you have? 13. 13 of those? 13. Do you just have the one warehouse or do you have multiple warehouses now? I have two warehouses uh -huh. right next door. One is for the BMWs, <laughs> one for the Porsches because they don't get along. <laughs> so we have to separate so, them. <laughs> so let's talk about this specific car. Um, what modifications do we have? What, what suspension has been done to this car? This car has the Belstein PSS10 suspensions. Yep. Which yeah. you, always, you have to get that because it matches the color almost, right? Right. The, the blue for the blue. Yeah, and then you have a strut tie bar in the in the trunk. In the trunk. Uh, the Turbo S ducts. Oh, uh, yeah. We have this aftermarket steering wheel. Which I love this thing. It almost looks like the roof. Yeah, just like the roof. Yeah. And it's a three spoke like the 996, which all my other cars have the 996. But this car came with this one, so. I just left it like that. And you get to retain the airbag, which is right, nice, right? Because right. this car did come with an airbag. Yes. You got the matching keychain, key which chain. is just amazing. <laughs> How many of these keychains do you have? I think 80% uh, of them have that keychain. With the matching color and everything? Yes. Oh, that's so cool. The cool. exhaust sounds oh. perfect. Fist of threes. Okay, which is that the louder? That's the louder. Okay. Then you have the tools, and uh, all my cars, all my 993s, have the Fister 3s. Nice. They gotta, they gotta have it. Oh yeah, and it pulls so smooth. The power in this car, it's so linear, it comes on very smooth. Um, it's only two, only 285 horsepower. The car weighs 3,200 pounds. So it's definitely not gonna scare you, but it's so fun, uh, so visceral. You feel all of the speed as you're accelerating so 60 miles an hour really feels like 60 um, if you're not insulated from all that speed like you are in the modern cars you're right up against the windscreen and you just feel like you know front row seating for this amazing experience um, I feel like I have a little bit more room in here than a 964 or, or is it yeah. the same no it has a little, a little bit, bit more, more? yeah okay so you were saying for pure driving pleasure, you would choose a 964 over a 993. Now, don't beat us up now. This is Rudy's personal opinion. I'm asking him. 
<laughs> in my opinion, yes. Right. Cool. It feels the 964 reminds me of a GT3 with less power. Okay. That's when I when I purchased my GT3 997.2. Oh, you had one of those. Yes, and I had the RS as well. Oh, Jesus. When I drove that GT3 for the first time, I told my wife, "This is a 964 with more power." Mm. And, and that's how I felt. So this car, um, it's 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 a dream, guys. Um, <laughs> I never thought that I could uh, be driving this vehicle. I was just wanted to meet and interview Rudy. That was my dream. Not to drive it is like surpass that. Um, but let me just break it down what this car is like to experience. First of all, when he pulls up, this blue turquoise color is like no color I've ever seen before. It's it's like Papa Smurf, <laughs> kind of on acid. It's just this really, really bright, non-metallic blue that's just wet and deep it's just just this nice clean blue it really accentuates the wide body and the teardrop mirrors it's just a lot of C in this car has with those orange touches and these wheels oh perfect wheels on it it gives the car just ridiculous presence as it's sitting there and when we were camering up the car for five minutes in the parking lot like three people came up and told us how beautiful the car is and this is in Malibu where there's Ferraris and Lambos everywhere Oh, sitting in it, these sports seats, amazingly comfortable. Basically, the mods that I do to my cars are reversible. Mm -hmm. So if tomorrow you want it 100% stock, yeah, no problem. Right, you it's got all done. your stock parts yeah. and everything. I mean, right. 10 years from now, 15, 20 years, everybody's going to want to stock. But I hope in that time, Rudy, that the Rudified 993s <laughs> go for a premium, man. They, they have to, they have to. <laughs> Let's see what happens with that. <laughs> they have to. Which the first time uh, I, I heard about Rudy on the forums, uh, and then I found him on Instagram and started following him on Instagram. Before you were called Mr. 993. You weren't even called Mr. 993 when, right. I, when I first started following you. And then I saw the E Garage video, and I was just taken back. Fraser and the guys at E Garage did such an amazing job they on did. that video, and I just loved it so much. Um, if you guys haven't seen that, you guys have to watch that, that video. Um, you can see a glimpse into Rudy's collection. It's just awesome. Um, and they take out the 993 Turbo. Yeah, the Riviera Blue, I just bought it. Oh, you just bought it? I just bought it like a month before they came. So, here's the question. You can only keep three cars of your Porsche Club, <laughs> or, or which three do you keep? This one? Okay. Uh, my 964, I'll keep my black 11,000 mile. The, the newest one, C2, right? Two, yes. Is that the one you picked up in Hawaii? Or yes. you picked up in Southern California or something, right? It was shipped from Hawaii to San Diego. Wow. And I picked it up there and drove it all the way back to Texas. When I picked it up, it had 7,000 miles. When I got back home, it had 10,200 miles. And um, I remember you saying during that drive, is you felt the motor open up, right? Oh yeah, uh, about is... about 400 miles into the trip, my wife's kind of like going to sleep, and I said, "There it is, right there." She goes, "What?" I said, "Just I can feel it. It feels Rudy, lighter." Rudy drives his cars. Oh yeah, and then I don't have no garage queens. <laughs> they all get driven like they've been stolen. <laughs> okay, so you got this one, your black 964, which is completely stock, right? Uh, have you done anything to it yet? Just the suspension work. That's okay. it. Okay. Okay, That's so it. it's very early in the stages of being rootified. Very. Why would you keep that one over one of your cool color ones? Is it just, it just has the uh, a lot of memories, you know, me and my wife okay, okay. flew to San Diego. Nice. She was scared. She was like, you think this car's going to make it back? <laughs> it's nice. been parked for 20 years and mm. the guy just took it and did some things to it to get it going. Yeah. And okay. I said, look, <laughs> we're going to pick it up. Believe the Porsche. <laughs> yeah. If, we, if it breaks down. We'll leave it there and have somebody pick it up and take it home. Nice, okay. That's it, no no worries. <laughs> so uh, she said, okay. Well, he made it all the way back. Wow. No problems. That's cool. That's a Porsche for you. That is. Because yeah. yeah. <laughs> you have some really cool 964s. I really dig your uh, burgundy one. And then you have like a purple one. Yeah, the violin metallic. That car I would came. like to place my name on the waiting list for the, <laughs> the purchase list for that car. Now that car is a, it's a Euro car. Okay, oh, so okay. it has a little more horsepower than the American, the USA one. Oh, wow. So 
if you drive that car, when I drove it for the first time, I said, this car's got to have a 993 engine or something. Wow. And it's a that C2, sucker right? is fast. It's a, it's a rocket. And it's a C2? It's a C2. Yeah. So what's your third car then? Oh, man. That, one man. of the 2002s? Well, definitely I would have to keep one of the one 2000s. Of and that right. would be so my, my Alpina. Oh, yeah. I just purchased the, the 2002 TII with the A4 Alpina kit in it. And now that thing is a skyrocket as well. Wow. I don't, I don't want to drive my other ones now. Right <laughs> <laughs> it ruined them. Yeah. But, you know, each car has its own things, right? you know. And right. So I like them all. I drive them all. And then you have a couple even older air cools. Yes, I have a 1974 2.7 and a 1977 2.7. One is a 911. Sick. The other one is a 911 S. Those are very nice cars. And then my wife uh, bought her a 68 Irish green soft top target. It's a, it's a 912, fully restored. Oh, beautiful. I love that so color. Those are, those are my older cars. Those are my three Porsches. They're not 993 or 96. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, what do you do daily when you're not in one of your Porsches? Uh, Toyota pickup truck. Pickup truck. Just to. Uh, oh, the dirt man. You got the, you got yeah, the dirt just man. to go <laughs> check on the pits and stuff. Rudy, thanks again, man. Hey, Stuart, thank you, man. Uh, it was I, nice finally to meet you. Uh, thank you so much. And Likewise, man. I met this guy like, he's on Instagram, and right away we clicked. So I just kept commenting to DM. <laughs> but he was always cool. Live up to the hype, and so do your cars, man. So thank you so much for being the cool guy you are. I look forward to seeing you at Luft, and I'm glad I got to hang out with you before Luft because he's going to have crowds around him, and this car is going to have crowds around it because it's very special. Oh, so perfect. So... Thanks, guys. Leave a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Until next time, have a really cool day. Peace.